Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor, with me today is Barbara Patterson, Director of Student Involvement here at Troy University. Barbara, mm -hmm. thanks for joining me here today. Oh, I'm delighted to be here. It's yes. uh, spring semester, <laughs> yes. middle of the <laughs> year, uh, mm -hmm. a time for students to get involved in kind of a different way. When we bring mm -hmm. you here in the fall, we talk about the beginning of school, but mm -hmm. in the middle of a school year, it's a little bit different in, in finding your way and getting involved. And a lot of students may not even think about the fact that, you know, there's still opportunities to get involved with new organizations on campus. Absolutely. You know, we know that sometimes, especially uh, new students think, oh, you know, I can only get involved in the fall. And if I don't get involved in the fall, I just need to wait till uh, my sophomore year. That's so untrue. There are all our organizations are looking for new students. We have Greek life. Uh, fraternity recruitment begins next week and uh, sorority continuous they've been bidding begins next week. At the end of the month, our MPHC groups will be having their convocation. So just the Greeks alone are hitting it hard wanting uh, to bring in new members and are so happy to bring in new members spring semester. Now, of course, it's not just the Greeks. It is all our student organizations. Our religious organizations would like for you just to walk in the door and become a part of their organization. So, so many are looking for new members. And of course, a lot of the groups themselves have established and that's one of the yes. things that makes it a little bit easier sometimes mm -hmm. that students don't realize to getting involved in that the beginning of the fall semester and, and during the fall these groups are, are themselves a lot of times are getting new leadership and all that in place so the mm -hmm. middle of the school year sometimes can be a slightly easier time for the groups to bring new members in as well. That's a wonderful and excellent point because uh, again, especially because of COVID, many of our groups last year operated completely differently. And then the new leadership for this year really had to learn how to go back to some of the old ways and then a mixture of the old and the new ways. But they, I think everybody in this uh, fall semester got very comfortable in operating the leadership really took on the challenge of bringing their groups back to in-person events and so um, it's an excellent point that these uh, these student leaders have gotten a semester underneath their belt and of course with this uh, one of the easiest things we've talked about this before when you've got a student who are they're nervous about potentially mm -hmm. getting involved with a group mm -hmm. what's your advice to these students uh, to get involved, you know, to be a part of these groups, what, what do they need to do? Well, one, it's, it, it sounds kind of hard, but take a risk. The risk is worth the reward. Uh, I, would, I would say, um, if you're scared to go to a meeting by yourself, grab your roommate and mm. say, hey, let's go. I know you might not be interested in it, but I am. Would you please go with me? And, um, and then if somebody invites you, say, yes just say yes and go and show up let me tell you groups that uh, are advertising for new members they'll be thrilled when you walk in the door and you need to know that they're going to welcome you with open arms so just take that risk and i always tell students remember that everybody in their lives needs to be learning and doing something new um, and uh, you know, you survived your freshman year in high school, you'll survive your freshman year in college, and everybody should be a freshman at something at any point in time learning something new. And the more you take the risk, the more uh, you get used to taking the risk. So take that risk. Take and, the risk. and you shouldn't be afraid to just, just walk on up and, and be a part of the these yes. groups, these organizations, because mm -hmm. most all these organizations, you know, are looking for, for people to get involved and looking to expand mm -hmm. the ranks. Exactly. You know, it is so important to find people who have some of your shared values and some of your shared interests. And uh, with our departmental and professional organizations, many students will find uh, other students who love being uh, an art major, who love being a math major, who love um, the world of history. Mm -hmm. And so it's so great to find those students who have the same interests and to learn and grow and, and make friendships. And of course, they can find out about some of these organizations just by coming by the Student Involvement Office because there's a exactly. lot of opportunities and a lot of resources available to kind of mm -hmm. help guide these students 
to mm -hmm. where some of these groups and organizations are. Exactly, and you know, one of our newest resources is that Tracy Leverett, uh, our coordinator of student involvement, this year started a group of students we're calling Student Involvement Ambassadors. And there's about 15 to 17 of those students and they are more than willing to meet and work with a student in finding their fit, a good place for them to belong. And it's a good to have that student connection. Absolutely. Because you know, the mm -hmm. adults can guide you somewhere, sure. but hearing it from another student mm -hmm. makes things a little bit better. Now, if anybody wants to, any students are interested, uh, yes. where can they find you? They can find us in uh, Trojan Center 215. Uh, it says SGA on the outside of the office and just ask for uh, Barbara, Sidaris, or Tracy. All okay? right. Well, here's hoping students take advantage of that and get involved here on campus. Barbara, thanks for joining us here today. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on today's edition of Trojan Talk.